Welcome to Electron Online. Now that we know what an identity matrix is, and we also know what the inverse of a matrix is, now we can go ahead and do matrix division. Not dividing a matrix by a constant, but dividing one matrix by another matrix. So here we have two matrices, A and B, and we're trying to find the quotient A divided by B. Well, if we follow the algebraic methodology, if we can say that A divided by B should be equal to A times the inverse of B, simply like if you divide one fraction by another, that's the same as multiplying by the inverse of the fraction, we can probably use the same approach by saying that if we take one matrix divided by another matrix, that's the same as saying the matrix multiplied by the inverse of that second matrix. And of course, if then A times the inverse of B is equal to C, then we can verify that that, that is indeed correct by taking A and then saying A therefore must be equal to C times B. In other words, take the B, move it over here, and then therefore A must be C times B. So we'll go ahead and verify if we did what we did was correct. So let's go ahead and do that. To, to divide A by B, we need to find the inverse of B first. So since it's a two by two matrix, let's find that, let's use that easy method to do that. So the inverse of the matrix B is equal to one divided by the determinant times the matrix, but with 2 and 7 interchanged, so the 7 goes up here, the negative goes down here, and we change the signs of 5 and 6, so it becomes a minus 5 and a minus 6. Now, what is the determinant of the matrix? It is these two elements multiplied together minus these two elements multiplied together. So we know that D is equal to negative 2 times 7 minus 5 times Six. Again, it's those two multiplied together minus those two multiplied together. So this becomes minus 14 minus 30, which is equal to minus 44. So ultimately, the inverse of B can then be written. B inverse is therefore equal to 1 divided by minus 44 times the matrix of 7, negative 5, negative 6, and negative 2. So, if that's the case, now we can divide A by B because that's the same as to multiply A times the inverse of B. So, therefore, A divided by B, which is equal to A times the multiplication of, with the inverse of B, is equal to the A, which is 1, 4, negative 2, and 3, times 1 over negative 44, that's a constant, times the matrix 7, negative 5, negative 6 and negative 2. All right, so now we can go ahead and take the 1 over negative 44, move it to the front and multiply these two matrices together. So this is equal to minus 1 over 44 times, when you multiply these two matrices together, you multiply this row times this column, so that would be 7 plus a minus 24, so plus 7 minus 24 is a minus 17. Next we multiply this row times this column, so minus 5 minus 8 is a minus 13. Now we multiply this row times this column, that would be minus 14 minus 18, that would be minus 32. And finally, this row times this column, that would be a positive 10, and a minus 6, that would be positive 4. And this would be the quotient of matrix A divided by matrix B. All right. Now you may say, well, I'm not so sure about that. How do you know that's correct? Well, we're going to verify by now taking the solution, matrix C, multiply times B to see if we get A back. All right, let's do that. So C multiplied times B is equal to a minus 1 over 44 times negative 17, negative 13, negative 32, and positive 4, and multiplying that with matrix B, which is this matrix right here, negative 2, 6, 5, and 7. So that is equal to minus 1 over 44 times. All right, we may need a calculator here, let's find out. So we have 17, so we multiply this row times this column, so 17 minus 17 times minus 2 is a positive 34, and minus 13 times 6, and I'm going to grab a calculator just so we have this correctly, so that would be 34, minus 78, and that would be a minus 44. Okay, for this element, we multiply this row times this column, so that would be minus 17 times 5, that would be minus 85, and added to that, 7 times 
13, a negative 13, it would be minus 91, so minus 91, and that's a minus 176. Finally, for these two elements, this row times this column, so that would be a 64 plus 24. That would be 88. And then this row times this column, that would be minus 160 plus 28. That would be minus 132. So now we'll go ahead and simplify that by multiplying negative 1 over 4 to 4 times these elements. You can already see by those numbers that looks pretty good. So this is equal to 44 divided by 44, which is 1. Negative 176 divided by negative 44 would be a positive 4. 88 divided by negative 1, that would be negative 2. And this divided by that would be a positive 3. And this should be back. This should, of course, be my A matrix. So A should be equal to this. And is it correct? 1, 4, negative 2, 3. It checks out, which means I found the correct solution. So here I showed you how to find the quotient of two matrices. So when you have A divided by B, that's the same as A times the inverse of B. And so when you find the inverse of B, you multiply A times the inverse of B, and you get the solution. And that's how we divide one matrix by another matrix.